Hey guys, welcome to Mintech. This is Chris, obviously in the great outdoors again today. I have a beautiful backdrop. I've got somebody trying to, you know, cut down a tree with their saw. I've got some highway noise. Regardless, it's an awesome day today. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Today what I have for you is the uh, Olight Baldar Mini. And uh, I have been waiting for a good quality weapons light for some time and just waiting for things to go on sale. I was looking at the Olight Valkyrie. And I decided to hold off until um, Olight had their big bundle sale. And so that's what I did. And so we're going to get into the specifics in regard to the Olight Balder Mini. And I'm not going to do an unboxing. There have been plenty of people previous to me who have unboxed this particular light. And so <clears throat> if you want to see somebody open a box, check out a different video. But if you just want to see the, the uh, basic logistics of this light, um, the specifications, that's what I'm here for. I'm going to show a little bit later on what this light can throw in the dark. And so hopefully you're able to uh, see that quite well. It is pitch black out there, nothing but stars, which I really wanted to show this light off. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. All right, guys, here we go. This is the uh, Baldor Mini, and uh, it is on my Canic Elite Subcompact. I really wanted something that uh, um, I could throw on my nightstand, but also EDC it every day. So I wanted to go with the uh, Olight Baldor Mini. This thing is absolutely fantastic. It is a phenomenal light, good quality. Now there's been plenty of questions out there on the Canic forums in regard to fit and finish of this light on the subcompacts and some of the elites. <clears throat> I don't know where the rumor started, but there's a rumor that the light would not fit on the rail tightly. Um, it would be loose and whatever else. So I don't know where the heck that came from, um, but I'm here to set the record straight that this is the elite subcompact and it is extremely tight there is no wiggle whatsoever on this rail for this light okay um, you have probably seen videos um, in regard to how it's installed but I'm just gonna quickly show you uh, there is a <clears throat> quick release on the uh, left hand side of it as you're looking down the barrel of the gun and it's just a quick release but also if you push that button right there you're able to take it right off, okay? Normally for a weapons light, you would set your set your uh, block to the first block of the, of the weapon. So I'm going to put that on there. It simply goes on like that. Now it's loose, right? But that locking mechanism locks it back, and it actually rats, ratchets back to the uh, trigger of the gun. So it is uh, ambidextrous. You've got light activation on the right and left-hand side. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, I'm just going to show you the ratcheting system. I'm going to take this off really quick and detach it from the pistol. <clears throat> so, as you can see, I'm going to get through. Uh, I'm going to get to some of the things that come in the box. First of all, you're going to get two different blocks. One's a 1911 style block, and this is a Glock style block. Okay, you get the Allen wrench, you get the 1911 block that's sitting in there, hopefully you can see that, boom, there it is, and you get uh, screws for the 1911 block that adheres it to, um, has Loctite on it, to your ratcheting mechanism. So you can see that uh, it does ratchet back and forth, it's a really nice system for adjustment, um, which makes this tight against your trigger guard so whether you're uh, deciding to put this on a SIG or a Canic or a Glock or a 1911 it should fit uh, just about every gun that is manufactured out there again Allen wrench for adjusting your green dot as well as for your various locking blocks okay I'm gonna put this back on so that uh, I can show you guys some other features again the ratcheting mechanism, it's sitting right there, my block is sitting in the first stay of the gun. All I gotta do is now push this back and tighten it up. So it works extremely well, extremely adjustable to any platform of gun. 
again. So I'm going to tell you what else gets it, uh, goes in the box. You may have noticed this is the charging port or charging uh, surface. And uh, <clears throat> within, the, within the box, you're going to get your charging cord. And this actually, if you've never had an Olight before, it's a really nice system. It is magnetic, so it adheres there. And then you can plug this either into your uh, USB for your computer or you want to make sure that you have a, a quality charging block. This is from a, uh, I believe, an HTC phone. I'm not sure. Anyway, so I have this charging block. Smile. Charging block, and I just uh, um, connect it to the charging block, connect it to the gun. I can have this actually sitting right next to my uh, nightstand, and I can charge it overnight. Apparently, it's got about 40 minutes of um, run time, so, which is plenty enough if you have to get up in the night, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, you hear something go bump in the night, plenty of range, plenty of time to be able to, you know, check out your house, sweep your house if you, want, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Anyway, so let's go through some of the other features. Um, like I said, this is ambidextrous. If you're holding your gun, the, uh, the thumb can actually actuate, so you can push it down. I'm going to show it just like this. Push it down, and right now what I have it on the center setting, which is the flashlight and the green light. If I move it over to this side, it is just the green dot. You can see that? If I move it center, it's both. I'm not sure if you can see the green, green dot in there or not. And then if you push it all the way to the right, it is just your light. Okay. Again, this is uh, 600 maximum lumens, lumens with a 130 meter throw. So that's the distance that'll, uh, that'll shine out there without, without fading. Um, so it's really nice. The other thing is, is that this is quick on, so every depress of the, uh, the knob itself is going to keep it, keep it on. I think I have it on the center section. Let's go with, yeah. And then if you want constant on, you just push it down once. <clears throat> so if you hold it, it's momentary, let go, your light goes off. If you want it to be constantly on, you click it down once. And you can see that it's working phenomenally. Alright, so other side, you can see that there are, um, there are adjustments for your green dot. And so what I have done is I have adjusted my green dot with center of my red dot at about 15 yards. And so your this screw hole right here, if you can see that, actually is for adjusting up and down. And the other screw hole, which is closest to the trigger guard, is right left. So windage elevation and uh, so you can adjust that to however you want. So I'm going to take this out. I have not taken it to the range yet. I just got it yesterday I believe. And so I'm going to see how this does ring and steel and uh, we'll see if the green dot actually stays on target with no movement, no shift in uh, point of impact. And so I'm going to let you guys know, this is going to be a separate video, I'm going to let you guys know how that goes in regard to uh, <clears throat> any shifts whatsoever. But so far I've been very impressed. I really like how small and compact it is. And so here's the downside. I had just ordered a Red X gear holster about six months ago. I love that thing. Now I'm going to have to buy a new one. Actually what I'm going to do is I'll be making my own Kydex holster and I might bring you guys through the process. If it really sucks I'm not going to post the video. But I have set up my uh, shop to be able to start making holsters. And so my first one is going to be inside the waistband appendix carry holster, light bearing and to fit this particular uh, particular light. The other thing I'm going to do is, if I'm successful in that, I'm going to make an outside the waistband holster for uh, winter carry. And so stay tuned for that. Um, so I'm really excited about that. If you guys have questions about this particular light, again, always leave your comments down below. I try to get to them as soon as I can and uh, answer any questions in regard to the product itself. So we're going to see how this holds up as far as um, rounds down range. I have seen many people own uh, old lights and they've had no problems. I've seen on the forums like people running like 2,000 rounds with their old lights with no issue whatsoever. 
uh, drop tests, you know, all kinds of quality control tests that these guys have done. And so I'm just going to see where this thing, uh, this thing lands as far as quality. So I'm excited, and I'll bring you guys through the process. You know, if this really sucks and it, you know, <coughs> bugs out on me, you're going to know about it. Um, so again, the other thing is, just quickly, is that I, uh, I did the bundle. And this was last week, last Thursday, they had their big sale, okay? So I was lucky enough to get in on the bundle, and I got two basically free things, all right? So this light, when I bought it, was 89 bucks, And uh, there are two items that came with the light, which I was totally stoked about, because I needed a new everyday carry flashlight. And so here it is. I got the i5T EOS, and uh, it is it's pretty awesome. I'm not going to do a review right now. I'm going to do a separate one, but uh, I got it in the... OD green, which is, ooh, it is sweet, vibrant, but the really thing, and this was free, this thing was free, <laughs> it is the uh, i1R2 EOS, and I have to say, I have been extremely impressed, let me just show you guys this thing, I'm going to do a review on this too, but, you know, just out of the box, just out of the box review, this is a keychain light from Olight, out of the box, <clears throat> this thing is maybe an inch and a half. Okay, usually it's about an inch from knuckle to knuckle. This thing's about an inch and a half. Okay, the brightness of this little guy is just amazing. My wife saw it. Saw it. She's probably gonna steal it from me. So I am ordering. I'm ordering another one for myself. That's the same color. This is flat dark earth, by the way. Which, no, nah, it's not flat dark earth. It's like more of a classic bronze. <clears throat> anyway, back to this thing. I mean, it's got two settings. It's got low. That's low, and then it's got super high, and I am super, super impressed with this thing. I'm just trying to find the lumens on this thing. Uh, da, 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 da. It is 150 lumens for a keychain light. I, I promise not to do like a review on this thing, but holy buckets, this thing is pretty sweet. For a keychain light, this thing rocks. 40, mi uh, 40 meters of throw, 15 minute run time. And the awesome thing is that it is rechargeable. All right, I'll do a review on it later. Anyway, guys, if you have questions about the uh, Baldor Mini, let me know. Um, again, my next, I'm going to do a couple of different videos. One is going to be, uh, you know, reviewing this, and then I'll do a review of the uh, i5T EOS. But I will also bring you, bring you through the process of building your own... Um, Kydex holster and how to do it um, basically economically. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, guys, you guys have a great weekend. Leave comments, have questions, like, share. You know the business. All right, guys, I appreciate you. So, I appreciate you guys so much, and the fact that you guys are subs and hopefully you're enjoying this content. And I hope to bring you more content about you know whether it's lights or knives or you know just weird stuff too you know because it's fun. All right, guys, have a great one. It just definitely throws a nice beam out there, great for home defense, dark situation. And you can see that green laser shows up very well. Green laser is super cool. I don't know if you can see the beam. Let me see if I can show you a little bit better. See the beam, but you can actually see the particles in the air contact the particles of the green laser. It is stinking sweet.